Hey everybody, it's Tech 248 here, and one of my viewers uh, that I speak with on a daily basis gave me a great idea, and that idea is of this. Repackaging. That and more, right after this. Hey everybody, and thank you for tuning in. So, like I said, one of my viewers uh, gave me a great idea for this video subject, and that is relabeling or repackaging the same firework effect. Really common here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so, and for apples and apples and oranges and oranges, whatever. Um, we'll say a company creates a fountain that's called Right Hand. And that goes, that goes for a few years. And then they turn around, label it um, Big Thumb. Same effect. Totally the same effect. The exact same compound, exact same to um, length of time, everything. And that's pretty common in the firework industry. And it's kind of annoying because you, you, they, they come out with these really cool graphics and it doesn't match. All right. Uh, that's what peeved him. And, yeah, and that's one of the golden reasons why I like to bring in some other product here to the Pacific Northwest. And so uh, I can do, you know, so you can have more choices here. Like I said, there's only two companies dominant in this area. Uh, there are some independent people that are bringing in some stuff, but it's not really known where they're at. I mean, there is some other products, but very little. I would like to change that. And the only way to do that is we got to um, uh, get more suppliers out here in this area to do so. And I know I was talking to one of the fiber um, tent operators, and they said they had to go through like several distributors out of state that carries the product. To bring it here in Oregon to where it is that and by the way it is class G one four one three here in 33rd state and that you know is pretty much it with the fountains fountains are all class G class fireworks so anybody says something different well I look at the boxes boxes tell me exactly what they are so so, you know, another one, another thing they would do is they would also change the formula a little bit. And, uh, you know, they'll start out, as soon as they come out with it, the, it'd be really super cool. And over the years, they'll start changing the formula, phase it, that's their way of phasing it out. And so they're getting ready to relabel it. Uh, 
So, this, for example, there's a couple of effects my mom likes. She's no longer with us, but uh, they are mandatory f uh, effects in my shows. Uh, they always got to be something in that uh, in my shows with, with those particular fountains. But they're getting cheesy. They're getting cheesy. They're not as brilliant as they used to be. They're kind of more not of the label of the uh, product. Uh, and that is frustrating because now, probably this coming year, it's probably the formula is going to change again. Uh, then they'll probably relabel it as brand new, and it's not. It's like last year's effect or year before last effect. <laughs> yeah. You can only keep new new product label for maybe two seasons. After that, it's not new. Uh, it's like, okay, we we know it's not new. We're going to relabel it. And you turn around and say, well, wait a minute. That was, that was uh, Chicken Scratcher in last year. And it looks exactly like that. And then what they got? They've got the Chicken House or something like that. Uh, you know, that's, you know, the way they do it. Or they'll come up with some really fancy graphics. It'll look cool. On the graphics, and then it'll explain what the uh, effects are, and then two or three years later, they'll relabel it with the exact same effects with some new graphics on there. I mean, it'll be the exact same effect. Um, it'll be a multi fountain, a single fountain, a cone fountain. Uh, you know, I, I, I see this all the time, especially with cakes. Uh, fountain cakes, uh, they'll change them. Uh, uh, they'll they'll put a lot of effects into them, and then over the time they'll start back. They'll take a lot of effects out, and it gets that way. And that's one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people are asking about other brands. So, if you like to support that, um, to get me to uh, the um, National Fireworks uh, Association convention in 2019. I'll post a link to my GoFundMe account, and you can do that. Uh, but if you're interested in bringing in um, Big, uh, now I'll name them anyhow, Big Brother, uh, Shogun, um, World Class, um, Black Cat, Cherry Bomb. Uh, uh, Oh, what's that one? This came. They this came out this year. Um, American flag. Uh, that's another one. If you want to see those products here, I would like to get to the convention to learn the industry, the ins and outs of the industry, and maybe be a distributor in this area. And the only way I. It's going to be done. Is I'm trying to I'm trying to do that to save money set myself. Uh, right now I'm in the middle of a big uh, rebuild of my fire con uh, pyrotechnic control board, my Hellfire. So if you want to help, please do. There's a there'll be a link in the video description of that uh, to get to the GoFundMe uh, campaign. Share it with your friends if you're interested in bringing these other effects in. Um, Please help out. That's you know that's that's easy said. Um, just please help out, and that way we can get hopefully get that more of that product in. There's some really cool products. Um, I've only named a few, but there's some really cool products out there. And uh, believe me, I've got them all bookmarked on my uh, in my um, bookmark on my computer. So if you're interested in those products. Get them here in the Pacific Northwest, here in the 33rd state. And I did do all of my homework on there. They are Class G, 1, 4, 1, 3. So they're perfectly legal in the 33rd state. So if you're interested, let's do that. I'm Sprecher Tech 248. Thank you for watching. And as always, please, my public service announcement, don't text and drive. Make sure your phone is mounted to the dash on Bluetooth technology. Uh, here in the 33rd state, <clears throat> you can, if you got get caught three times, you can face a jail sentence. They're, 
matter of fact, I think a couple of states are going to adopt that law. So I don't know which ones. Uh, so just put it down. The text message can be there until you can get to a parking lot and something like that to pick it up and answer it. Uh, that'd be the safe thing to do. Um, don't drink and drive. Um, <clears throat> fines could be up to as high as ten thousand dollars. Lose of license. Um, worst case scenario, prison sentence. Um, so yeah, don't get in that ball wax. And as always, <clears throat> something I just learned recently. Um, <clears throat> last year, there's been sixteen fatalities of people negligently using fireworks. Over 130 last year injured severely. Over 200 minor injuries. Misusing fireworks. Okay. Let's, let's, let's use fireworks safely. <clears throat> appropriately. As they are manufacturally designed. Okay. Please keep that safe. Let's make those numbers to zero. Big zero. All right. 2019, let's make it a zero. Uh, it would be super appreciated, especially with all of us that are dealing with fireworks and stuff like that. We really would appreciate that. And as always, you can either uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, and you can also uh, share my videos on your favorite social media sites. Anyways, I'm Spryker Tech 248 Thank you for watching, and... Um, catch you on my next post and I'm still working on some projects here they'll come up as quick as I can get them done so catch you all later bye bye